Good morning students. I, Mrs. Rafia Kalburgi Ma, welcome you to the St. Joseph's English Medium School for the academic year 2020-21 to the 4th standard. As I am your math teacher, today we are going to learn the bridge course. Bridge course means just re revising the things which we have learnt in the earlier class. In the earlier class, that in the third standard, you have learned addition of three-digit number, subtraction of three-digit number, multiplication of three-digit number by single digit, division of three-digit number by single digit. These all types we will do, we will solve by doing each problems. So in the next, first we will do addition of three-digit number. In the addition, we need minimum two numbers and there is no maximum limits. So first we will do addition without regrouping. Without regrouping means without any carryings. So as we are doing addition of three digit number, we have to place the hundreds, tens, ones. Then we have to bring the first number that is 235. Below this 235, we have to put the next number, that is 412. To do the addition, what we have to do is, we have to begin with 1's number, then we have to add 10's number. Lastly, we have to add 100's number. In the 1's number, we are seeing the digit 5 and 2. We have to add 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. Then we have to move to the tens place. There we are seeing the digits 3 plus 1. 3 plus 1 is equal, equal to 4. Then we have to go to the hundreds place. There we are seeing the digits 2 plus 4. When we add 2 plus 4, we get 6. The answer which is now on your screen is called sum. Sum is the, num is the number after adding the numbers what we answer get is called sum that's why we put the question is called find the sum sum means it's a total of addition so now we will go to the next type of this addition that is addition with regrouping regrouping means we will get the carry here now we'll place the number hundreds tens and ones then we'll put carry place then we will bring first number that is 537 then we will put 398 now as we have to begin with ones place in the ones place we are having the digit called 7 plus 8 when we add 7 plus 8 student we get the answer as 15 but we cannot write 15 here first what we have to do we have to write 5 down and 1 we have to carry to the tens place now you can see on the tens place we are having carry. Now this carry we have to add to the tens place digits. That is in tens place we are having 9 plus 3 plus 1. 9 plus 3 is equal to 12. 12 plus 1 is equal to 13. In this 13, 3 we have to write down. And 1 we have to carry to the hundreds place. Now in the hundreds place we are having the digits 1 5 and 3. Now we have to add these 3 digits. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. Now what is our answer? 935 is our answer. This is the method you have learned in the third standard. Now we will go to the next type that is subtraction of 3 digit number. In subtraction of 3 digit number we also do today here two types. One is subtraction without borrowing and subtraction with borrowing. Let's first begin with subtraction without borrowing. Now we'll put the place orders that is hundreds, tens and ones. Next we'll put the symbol of minus. Then we'll bring the first number. Always in the subtraction first number is called bigger number. Big number. In this, we are going to minus the smaller number. Now, what are you seeing here? 875 minus 423. 
here subtraction also should begin with ones place then it has to go next to is tens place then we have to go to the hundreds place in the ones place we are having 5 and 3 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 now we are seeing in the tens place digits called 7 and 2 7 minus 2 is 5 in the hundreds place we are seeing the digits 8 and 4 8 minus 4 is 4 Four. The answer is 452. This means the difference between 875 and 423 is 452. The answer of the subtraction is called difference. What the answer is uh, called? Difference. That's why the question will be written as find the difference of the numbers. Now let us move to the next method of the Subtraction that is subtraction with borrowing. Here also we will put the place orders. Then we will put the one empty line because we have to change the put the carries here. Next we have to put the big number. We have to bring the first we have to put the big number. Then we have to write the smaller number. Here in the ones place we are seeing 5 and 6. We cannot minus in the 5, 6. So, what we have to do is, we have to borrow from the tens number. When we borrow from the tens number, the number will become 15. And this 5 we have to strike out. Now, we can, in the 5, 15, if you minus 6, we will get answer as 9. As we have borrowed from tens number, 3 will be uh, remain as 2. In the 2, we cannot minus 7. Again what we have to do is we have to borrow from the hundreds place that is in hundreds place we are having 9. When we borrow from the 9 the 9 will become 8. When we borrowed from the 9 the number will become 12. See then 3 we have to strike out. When you minus in the 12 minus 7 we get the answer is 5. Now. 9 is already given to the number. This will become 8. And strike out the number 9. So now 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. This is the simplest method we have to do the subtraction. So we will move to the next part of ours is division of multiplication of 3 digit number. Here we will write the first number is. 234 we will multiply this number with 2 2 is the multiplier here with the 2 number we are going to multiply the given numbers so we have to read the 2 table and get our answer the answer of the multiplication is called product now 2 4 is 8 2 3 is 6 2 2 is 4 this Multiplication also should begin with ones number. Then we have to move to the tens number. Then lastly we have to go to the hundreds number. Now we will do one more problem with carry. Sub multiplication with carry numbers. Then we will take the question 243 multiplied by 4. 4 is the multiplier now. We have to read the 4 table. 4 3 is 12. In the 12 what we have to do is 2 we should write down and 1 we should carry to the 4's in the 10's place. Now multiply this 4 4's are 16. To this 16 we have to add that carry. 16 plus 1 is equal to 17. 7 we should write down and give the carry to the 100's number. Now multiply the 100's number. 4 2's are 8. 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. What is the product? 972 is the product of 243 multiplied by 4. So this is the method to do the multiplication. Next we will move to the division of 3 digit number by single digit. Here we are going to put the problem first. The, pro the question is 963 divided by 3 3 is our divisor and 963 is divided it means in the simple 
963 should be divided by 3 equal parts. Then whatever answer we have to write of the division, it should be written on the above. It is called Q. Q is equal to quotient. It is the answer of our division. Now, here we have to begin the division from the hundreds place because we are having three digit number. In addition, subtraction and multiplication, we have started our problems doing from the ones place. Then we move to the tens and hundreds place. But here in the reverse order, we have to go to the first, we have to divide hundreds number. Then we have to move to the tens number. Then lastly, we have to go to the ones number. So we are seeing on screen, in hundreds place, we are having digit called 9. Now we have to read the 3 table. We have to find such a product in the 3 table. It is either it is equal to this number or it is nearest to that number. But in the 3 table, we get 3 threes are 9. 9 is the product. So we have to put 9 below the 9. Now what we have multiplied to the 3 is to be written above the line there where in the quotient place. Here you see students, 3 is appeared. When you multiply 3, 3 is a 9. The product should be written below. Now we have to minus the 9 minus 9. Now it becomes 0. That means 100 place is completely divided. Now we have to bring down 10's place number digit. That is 6. In the 10's place we are having 6. Now read the 3 table. 3, 2 is a 6. 3 2s are 6, bring down the product 6 down and we have to place the 2 on the quotient's place. Now minus 8, 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. Now 10's place is also completely divided. Now what we have left now is 1's place digit that we have to bring down. Now we have to divide this 3, 3 1s are 3. So, multi we have to write 1 on the quotient place and product on below the 3. So, now you have to minus this. So, here all the 3 digits are completely divided. So, the remainder becomes 0. So, answer of the 3 digit number by single digit of the question 3, 963 divided by 3 is equal to 321 963 divided by 3 is equal to 321 means that this uh, 963 is equally divided into 3 parts 3 parts so answer is 321 students along with this video I am sending you PDF file by seeing the PDF file, you all have to sit in your home and write in your classwork as shown in the PDF file. Write neatly using the dark pencil. So you all have to stay home and practice more and more because practice ma makes man perfect. We have to stay in the home, stay safe. Still the ne next video, goodbye children.